We find square root of algebraic expressions by factorization when the given expression is either a perfect square or it can be reduced to a perfect square. Let's find out square root of the given expression 49x square plus 112xy plus 64y square. We know that uh, when square root of a perfect square x square is equal to plus minus x. So keeping that in mind, we will see what we can get out of 49x square since 49x square plus 112xy plus 64, that is 64y square can be written as 7x whole square plus 8y whole square plus 2 times product of 7x and 8y. Therefore, it is a perfect square of 7x plus 8y whole square. So, this implies that 49 x 49 x square plus 112 x y plus 64 y square which is in fact equal to 7 x plus 8 y whole square is equal to plus minus 7x plus 8y. If we talk about the principal square root, that is always positive. Otherwise, this is the required square root. Let's take a look at another question which in which the expression given is not directly a perfect square, but it can be reduced in that form. So, let's take an example here. Find square root find square root of x square plus 1 over x square plus 10 time x plus 1 over x plus 27 where x is not equal to 0. Now let us assume let us assume that x plus 1 over x is equal to y. It's just a naming convention. We can name a compound expression x plus 1 over x equal to y. If that is the case, then taking square on both sides, x plus 1 over x whole square is obviously equal to the square of other side. And when we expand this with the uh, square formula, this will give us x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 times x into 1 over x which is equal to y square. x will cancel out with x and this will give us x square plus 1 over x square equal to y square minus 2. This 2 is transferred on the other side. And by making these substitutions in the given expression we have so the given expression x square plus 1 over x square plus 10 time x plus 1 over x plus 27 becomes equal to y square minus 2 plus 10 y plus 27 and this if rearranged becomes y square plus 10 y plus 25 and as you can see this is a perfect square of y plus 5 whole square and now if we replace y with 
1 x plus 1 over x plus 5 this is a perfect square of x plus 1 over x plus 5 now if we take square root of the given expression which is x square plus 1 over x square plus 10 x plus 1 over x plus 27 plus 27 is equal to plus minus x plus 1 over x plus 5. Similarly, we have uh, like this is the perfect square root and now if we want to find out square root for uh, another kind of expression find square root of a time a minus 1 time a minus 2 time a minus 3 plus 1 in order to find square root we are going to regroup them and in this regrouping always remember that this now first and the last factor will be grouped together and second and third will be grouped together the reason is the constant terms minus 1 and minus 2 sum to 3 and here a minus 0 0 and minus 3 sum to minus 3 as well so as long as those constant terms are equal this grouping will work as you will see in the next step that if we group it a with a minus 3 and a minus 1 with a minus 2 plus 1 and then expand a time a minus 3 separately and a minus 1 time a minus 2 separately this gives us a square minus 3a let's make it as a one factor and here if we multiply this a square minus 2a minus a plus 2 plus 1 Let's put equal sign here and we can see that this is a square minus 3a time a square minus 3a plus 2 plus 1 and now you can see that this was my intention to create a square minus 3a here and a square minus 3a here so that whenever we suppose a square minus 3a equal to x we can replace this a square minus 3a in both of the factors so this becomes now x time x plus 2 plus 1 and let's expand this by performing the multiplication this will become x square plus 2x plus 1 which obviously is a perfect square now x plus 1 whole square and now you can see that the square root of given expression which was a time a minus 1 time a minus 2 time a minus 3 plus 1 is in fact equal to plus minus x plus 1 and now you can replace x back to what we substituted x for and that was a squared minus 3a plus 1 so this is again the square root of the given expression and we had uh, enough examples if now you will do few questions as an exercise, I'm sure that your skills will become a lot more better.